This video reviews genetics terminology. Why do you look the way you do? Traits from parents are passed on to their children. Some examples of traits are attached or unattached earlobes, and whether or not you can roll your tongue. The traits you have are determined by your genes. A gene is the basic unit of heredity. Genes are information for a trait. Just like many of our traits, each of our genes comes in two versions. These versions can be a little different from each other. We call these versions alleles. We represent them with capital and lowercase letters, and we show them as a pair of letters. For example, alleles for a trait might be shown as capital T, or lowercase t. How are the alleles different? Alleles can be dominant or recessive. Remember, we originally called the dominant gene the strong gene and the recessive gene the weak gene. A dominant allele is represented by a capital letter, for example, capital T. A recessive allele is represented by a lowercase letter, for example, lowercase t. Each person has two alleles for a trait, so we write them in pairs like capital T, lowercase t. When a person has one dominant allele and one recessive allele, the dominant allele is, a, is the trait the person will have. Remember, this is the strong gene, so the strong gene beats the weak gene. Here is an example. There are two alleles for whether or not you can roll your tongue. Can roll tongue, which is represented with a capital T, because it is dominant. And can't roll tongue, which is represented with a lowercase t, because it is recessive. So you can have one of three possible combinations of alleles. Capital T, capital T. Capital T, lowercase t and lowercase t, lowercase t. So if you have these alleles, can you roll your tongue? Remember, being able to roll your tongue is dominant. Will a person with the alleles capital T, capital T, be able to roll their tongue? Yes, because a dominant allele is present. Will a person with the alleles, capital T, lowercase t, be able to roll their tongue? Yes, because a dominant allele is present. Will a person with the alleles, lowercase t, lowercase t, be able to roll their tongue? No, because only recessive alleles are present. Each pair of alleles has a name. Capital T, capital T is called homozygous dominant. Capital T, lowercase t is called heterozygous. Lowercase t, lowercase t is called homozygous recessive. Remember, the prefix homo means same and the prefix hetero means different. How do you get the alleles you have? Your parents have two alleles for each trait. The alleles are separated in the parents' egg cells and sperm cells. In this example, both of the parents are heterozygous for a trait. Half of the mother's egg cells will have the dominant allele, here represented by a capital T. Half of the mother's egg cells will have a recessive allele, here represented by a lowercase t. Half of the father's sperm cells will have a dominant allele, here represented with a capital T. And half of the father's sperm cells will have a recessive allele, here represented by a lowercase t. The parents, egg, and sperm combine, so the kids also have two alleles for each trait. The set of alleles that you have for a particular trait is called the genotype. For example, capital T, capital T is a genotype. Capital T, lowercase t is a genotype. Lowercase t, lowercase t is a genotype. 
The traits that you see are called your phenotype. For example, being able to roll your tongue is a phenotype. Not being able to roll your tongue is a phenotype. Having dimples is a phenotype. Not having dimples is a phenotype. Having freckles is a phenotype. Not having freckles is a phenotype.